Week two. So after completing week one, which is really all about water, we start layering our habits and routines. So this week we talk about the five minute morning routine for optimal efficiency and neurological rewiring. So a lot of people skip over this part, which I believe is the most important part of this entire program. What we're gonna work on is optimizing the first five minutes of your morning. That doesn't mean you have to wake up any earlier, you're just gonna reframe the first five minutes of your day. So what that involves is some really easy things, just using a journal to help map out what you already have in your head for your goal and projecting that out. In your packet, there is the Amoline journal example. And all that is, you do not have to, you could print out these papers you want, you can use a journal that you're already using. It's an easy system I learned, and I use the acronyms Go, Did, Do, App. So Go really means gratitude. Everyone has gratitude journals and gratitude. You're just gonna write down one thing that you're grateful for that morning. Anything, so, you know, after you get up, you brush your teeth, you clean your face, you go to the bathroom, you know, you start getting your graminos together and you're gonna sit down for five minutes and just just do you. Everyone in the morning gets up and, and the first thing that they do is they start taking care of others. Some of you have children, dogs, you know, a significant other, they get up and they're always worried about someone else. Well, this is your time. This is probably the only five minutes of your day that you get to self-reflect. You know, a lot of times when people get stressed out or they break or they slip in a program is because they don't have good mental programming to help them with their behaviors and, and habits. Again, diets don't fail people, behaviors and habits do. So this is really cementing an easy way and it takes control of a lot of the stress in your life. So one thing for gratitude, so you're already in a, in a positive mental framework. Next is your uh, did list. What did you do yesterday? We'll go over that in a minute. So it's three things that you completed. You know, what did you complete yesterday? And this actually helps follow along your health and fitness and career journal journey. Did, what are you going to do today? Only list three things, just three. And the first one should be your health and fitness. So what's your big task this week? It's the journal. So one, do my journal. You're doing it now. Two, drink water, 60 ounces before two, that's my, and three can be anything you want. Maybe it's, you know, doing an extra round in trainer eyes or, you know, going for a longer walk. Those three things should just be health and fitness related. And the last but not least, we have our app, mean appreciate. You're going to appreciate, actively appreciate someone that day. It can be right then and there, just sending a quick text to someone. And what this helps, uh, do is it, it helps you keep in track of the people of your life. So a lot of time people can come in and out of our lives or we don't just get in a mode of appreciating others. And believe me, with stress, this can come back full force when you're feeling like shit one day and then you text someone a couple weeks ago and they're like, hey man, you want to get together for lunch? You're like, oh wow, they thought about me. So we're putting everything out there first. And then last but not least is the brain dump. This is usually what actually most people skip over everything and go right to the brain dump. The brain dump is all your anxiety for the day, all the worry, I have to do this, that you're just freestyle writing. If you only want to write a sentence, just write a sentence. But it's really important that you go through this and it takes literally 60 seconds. I'm grateful for A. Uh, I did a workout yesterday, I felt great. I'm gonna do today. So you're front loading your brain with what you're doing. A lot of people, again, they don't front load their brain, they don't put it down, they don't make it really, really, really important. This is your life we're talking about, it's the most important thing ever. So take the five minutes for you, okay? That's why it's the five minute morning routine, is it's really handling and mitigating the stress. And you're like, okay, I'm not worried about that. So what happens is things will just run around in your brain, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, and you're not putting it anywhere, and then your brain loop is just doing this. So I talk a lot about rewiring the brain. You're taking all those anxieties and dumping it on a paper. At least it's there for now, okay? So that's it for this week. If you check out the bottom of the email, I put in some decompression routines. And what that's really doing is, is handling the last five minutes of your day. So just some different stuff that you can try. You don't have to do all of them. If you need other ideas, please email me. So it's really going over just some um, baths, breathing routines, meditation, some herbal supplements you can use to help slow yourself down and mitigate stress. Remember, when most people gain weight, it's stress. 
around the holidays, people gain weight because it's stress. I just got a text message from one of my clients last night that was like, hey, I'm dieting, I'm doing the diet great, I'm hitting all my workouts, but I'm gaining weight, but I'm, this is the most stressed out I've ever been in my life. And stress causes inflammation. And inflammation is the root of all sickness and disease. So guys, do not take this. This is by far the most important part of the program. I say it over and over and over again. If you don't get the journaling down, and if you're not someone that journals, just find an app. I don't care anything that organizes your day and front loads your mind with the goal at hand. You'll be, this journal has changed my life and everyone in the program is what they talk about. So good luck this week.